No closer, or it's your heads. Not heads, not yet. From Queen's Nest we come, to Throne of Corsal we go. I know of no throne. It is second death. Flesh is ours, soul is Mortis's. I'll kill you myself. You're welcome. Quickly. Die. <laughs> Wear them down. You're mine. going.
Face your Go. death. Moving. Holding the line. Moving. There will be no surrender. Going. We make our stand here. Quickly. Face <laughs> your death. On the offensive. Let's move. Holding the line.
You're mine! Let's move. On the offensive. Let's move. Stand down. Wear them down. You're mine. The Liberator reigns. Moving. There will be no surrender. I'm going. You're done. Holding the line. Not exactly smart, but they sure knew how to fight. Uh, what do you think he meant? The throne of Corsal? Corsal is angelic for binding, I think. No idea. We should do something with the bodies, though. If anyone comes looking for them, I don't want them to track us. Here, I'll help you lift them. What is this? Mortis's power wanes. If the goddess of death is dying, and it is our guess that she is, we must act. You intend to use this to save Mortis somehow? No! We intend to end her reign once and for all. An opportunity like this comes once an epoch at best. If you've come to volunteer yourself to the throne, proceed. My guess is those bodies weren't volunteers? Their will hardly matters now. Nor does yours, little man. So many bodies murdered. This is insanity. This is inevitable. Join us in your death.
face your death. <laughs> Quickly. We make our stand here. For Mortis. Mortis, use my body. Let's move. Stand down. You stink of the living for my dread queen. Stand down. Meet your fate. Quickly. There will be no surrender. For Mortis. Mortis, use my body. Yield, or I will cut off your head. Enough! Well done, young fiend. Well done. What? You are spectacular, otherworldly. It's been a century since I last met a fighter with your, ah, vigor. I have a proposition. Help us reap the flesh we need for the throne, and I will repay you in any way you ask. I nearly killed you. You're either very forgiving or very crazy. I'm very both, as are you, which is why an alliance is all the more valuable. But it cannot be struck without flesh sacrifice! I can't be the only one who's feeling nervous about this.
We need powerful allies to strike fear in the hearts of any who would oppose us. No argument there. People will think twice about attacking Alien if we got a necromancer on our side. Now then, deal? I'm holding you to your word. If I help you build this monstrosity, that makes us allies. More than allies. If we free the burden binds in the forests of the lost, I'd say that makes us friends. One thing at a time, Necromancer. Oh, please. Call me Ejimar. Enemy of the Vale, the Elves, Mortis. Enemy of a great number of things. I'm Aviana. Truth be told, if you can find willing participants for our ritual, there need be no fighting at all. But I wouldn't recommend it. Everyone should have the pleasure of dying when they least expect it. Leave the details to me, Ejimar. I'll help build this throne, and in return... The liberated hordes of Greyleaf do anything you ask. You're building a temple of rotting flesh. What I don't understand is why, or how. Instructing my minions to harvest flesh resulted in them tearing each other to shreds. How children fight for the love of a parent. Their bodies made fine contributions just the same. My incantation to free us from Mortis' control requires only blood sacrifice now. Lots of it. You mentioned you're trying to free yourself from Mortis. What happened to her? Better minds have been driven mad! Questioning the fickle will of God's young fiend. Know only that Mortis's will is to unite the world in death, but that will wanes. You don't strike me as picky, but let's assume you were. Where do I find the best sacrifices? My taste in flesh is hardly discerning, it's true. From the tomb of Tuchulkan to the eastern wastes, I want any, and I want many! I like to know who I'm working with, Edgemar. Well, there was a time, over a century ago, when I was an archmage to Demosthenes II. I was among the first to serve the Vale. I killed a man who stood in the way of my rise to power. The Vale posthumously named him a saint and damned me to cleansing. I chose a different path. Necromancy. And why not? The only thing worse than a naked obsession with power is a hidden obsession with power. I'll be back. Try not to kill anyone while I'm gone. I knew we were looking for the leader of Greyleaf's hordes, but he's not exactly what I was expecting. No, but we found him, and he needs us. That's not a bad position to be in. Ilion will become whatever you make of it in the end. But be honest with me, I swear not to judge. Have you gone mad? I was wondering the same thing. You nervous? I'd say worry is appropriate, given that with a wave of his finger, he could turn us into zombies. We'd have to be dead first. So my opinion, let's not die. Oh, don't die. In Greyleaf, home of necromancers and the dread queen of death. Perfect plan.
Yes, young fiend. Come close. Nice and close. I trust the hunt for flesh invigorates. I'll be back. I promise nothing. Move out. You're mine. Wear them down.
die. We make our stand here. Move out. You're mine! Wear them down. Quickly. We make our stand here. You're mine. <laughs> On the offensive. There will be no
Moving. Die. Ha. Wear them down. For my dread queen! You're beating hard. I must have it. Mortis. Move out. Face it. Holding the line. You're beating hard. I must have it. Stream drains from you. Where I go, darkness follows. our stand here. Die and be awoken! Ori, look. These bodies are newer. I think I'm gonna be sick. After. Help me collect this for that necromancer. Feel the soil. It wants nothing more than to be fed the will of its rightful goddess. All you need is flesh. And in exchange, Mortis and her minions shall do anything you ask. But first, the offering! I just needed to hear you say it. I've already harvested the flesh we need for the throne. You said you didn't want to be friends, and yet, look how eager you are to please! Well then, young fiend, present this, the final offering, on the throne of Corsal! Let us usher in a new era for the Second Born, together! I'm not one to make demands, but this seems like a good time to back away. And miss the show? Come on, let's get a closer look.
It almost looks like it's taking some kind of form. Avi, look! The Lost One. Champion of the Council of Six. Petulant Edgemar, how dare you invade my domain? Your domain? I can explain. And how have you come to keep the company of the Child of Iron and Sky? We're friends! Someone please tell me what's actually happening here. As I knew and loved your parents, I will allow it. Speak your questions. Explain what this throne actually is. The throne of Corsal is a binding ritual from the Epoch of Hoyland Toth. When performed, it is powerful enough to imprison a god itself. That must not happen. Ejimar says Mortis's power wanes, and that with this throne, we can free them. They deserve liberation, not servitude. As their unholy mother deserves subservience for granting them a second chance at life. Do not judge what you cannot comprehend. Ejimar gave me the impression these were his lands, so I assume you're an invader. The force of the lost are mine. I am the eternal champion of the Council of the Six. We are the ancient heirs to Mortis's will. Through us, her power multiplies across the lands. Ejimar is a pest. Mortis's power wanes. Ejimar said so himself, and frankly, something isn't right in Greyleaf. The hordes are scattered, disorganized, isolated. These lands are mine to reign over. You dare question me. Enough of this! We rode here seeking some sort of bond between our people and yours. Instead... Instead you aided this insolent cur. However, you have wrought death on the invaders of Greyleaf while I was blinded by Ejimar's illusions. For that, you have the gratitude of the Council. I will render your death painlessly, and with mercy. Death is going to have to wait! Hello? Anyone? You're here. Where's Orion? Dead, most likely. But then, so are we. We were fighting. The Lost One descended. I, I can't remember what happened next. Because it happened after we died. Instead of giving us a second waking, the Council must have trapped our souls here as punishment. What is this place? The Hall of Souls. A prison for any who stand against Mortis. Or, to be more specific, this is one of many stones used to build the Great Hall. Each stone in the Hall of Souls is its own prison world. A hollow form filled with suffering souls. There must be some way to earn our freedom. None who are imprisoned in the stones of the Hall of Souls ever leave. The torture is eternal. I'd say it's best we make ourselves comfortable and learn to enjoy the existential anguish. So long as I have the will to fight, I'm fighting. Are you coming? We'll have the rest of eternity to sulk. It can wait. Good. Let's find Orion.
exquisitely fresh now, aren't you? I can still smell the sweet scent of life upon your souls. One does not face retribution from the Lost One without becoming very dead in the process. Unlike a necromancer, the scent does not lie. Your soul is here, yes, but the body holds fast. I'm sure of it. You say you can still smell that our bodies live. If that's the case, we have to find a way out of here. Help us. My freedom is a hope I've long since lost. But yours? Yes. So long as your bodies cling to life, we may reunite them with your souls. But time is of the essence. Thank you. Truly. <laughs>